Welcome to the channel guys. In this video we are going to make a lease advertisement in a quick manner in After Effects. You can see how it works. So let's get started. After opening the software, I have imported these images. This one is the lease pictures. And this one is the some background and this one is the bold picture. So first of all what we are going to do, let's make a composition of 10 second long. Okay. So after that create a new solid layer. I have choose this color and let's drop this image and let's change it a rotation something around 90 and change its scale so that it can overlap all the frame and let's choose its mode to multiply we can change some opacity let's change it to 65 after that what we are going to do that go to the rectangle tool and double tap this will make a rectangle shape and go to effect and preset window and search for radio waves let's choose this and apply over it over the settings i am choosing the color of it in this one and after that go around 5 seconds let's make a keyframe over the start width and increase it to 55 and make a keyframe over the end width and go to the end and let's choose them full 100 this one also after that what we will do right click and go to here pre-compose and choose this mobile attributes after choosing it right click again and go to time enable time remapping and let's go around 5 seconds and choose this keyframe drag this keyframe over 1 second and this will work like this so now this point our background is ready let's drop this images after dropping them let's choose it over here and this one over here we will have a gap of 2 to seconds over them let's change the size of the every image with the scale after choosing the scale make a cut to where they should be end with the control shift D and a press delete let's go around here so in order to make this effect what we'll do choose this one and go where it starts and go to scale make a keyframe select it 0 and go couple of frame forwards <laughs> and choose it 100 and this will work like this let's copy it ctrl c and paste it over here over here and over here also and let's choose all of them and press u and drag them over here so now this is the situation let's change its scale and also go around here change its scale and go around here also change its scale so after changing the scale what we will do that drag this bold image let's close these ones somewhere around here choose the key you can make some changes according to your choice let's make a copy of it with the control D and drag it over here so in order to make a revolving effect we will make a null object and let's select both of them and make it parent with it 
after making the parent let's go something around here and choose it and scale make a keyframe save it into zero and choose at which part the lace is appearing it's here so let's make it 100 like this so this will appear like this let's choose it and drag it over somewhere here okay so now to make the revolving effect what we'll do go around here and let's change its rotation and make a keyframe over the rotation and go around here and change it into something like this So this is the situation of our animation. So after that, select them. Right click, easy ease. Go to the graph editor and change the graph something like this. And after that, this will work like this. So go around here. And choose this keyframe and go around here and choose the rotation something like this. After that, select both of them, right click, easy ease, and change the graph editor. Let's zoom in over there and change the graph editor like this. Let's zoom out over here and go around here and we will do same settings with it. I am showing in the fast forward. So this is the animation which we have made. To make some changes, what we can do, let's choose the text and type of text over here. Let's choose it color something white. Okay, choose its style according to your choice. I have chosen this. Select it and let's make it scale. And let's place it like this. Make a copy of it. Place it like this. Let's select both of them. Take their opacity around here. Is 24 enough? Choose them and place them over here. At the end, we can also do that. Go to Fact and Preset window and search for Shadow. Let's choose this drop shadow over the first of the leaves. Let's choose the opacity over 50. Select the distance around it. Let's increase the softness. After that, make a copy of it with the control C and drop it over control V. With the all layers we have in drop. So this will work. Yes, you can see here there is a shadow. So thanks for watching till end. Meet you in the next video. You can subscribe to my channel if you like the video and give it a thumbs up. Bye.